These lands hold more mysteries than you can possibly imagine. You heard the call, didn't you? You have been chosen to help stop the blasphemy in the ruins below. To stop the laws of nature from being broken. I too was carried here on the tides of fate for this reason. We must work together. Yes, I serve Hermaeus Mora, the Lord of Fate and Knowledge. These ruins were once a shrine to my lord, a storehouse of secrets forbidden to mortals. The shrine is but a memory now, but an entity invades the ruins seeking to steal the secrets. A spirit? A Daedra? This is part of what must be exposed. Whatever it is, it has enslaved local villagers, calling them Rain Disciples. It taps their minds for its power. To what end, I do not know. But I believe you can unmask its intentions. Wisps serve the entity below, drawing the essences of the enslaved Rain Disciples and depositing these essences in troughs. Slay one of the wisps and take the essence it carries to the troughs. I believe this will expose the entity's intentions. We must stop this mysterious entity from stealing our lord's forbidden knowledge. The entity's wisps absorb mind essences from the rain disciples. Kill a wisp and take its essence to the troughs. I hope this will expose the entity's intentions. I serve Hermaeus Mora. Dealing with illusions and obscurities is what I do. Exposing these vague quantities, turning confused innuendo into clear knowledge. This is my lord's realm. Yes, even in the ancient days, some alien recognized the power of Hermaeus Mora. Within this shrine, they stored forbidden knowledge of the natural order, which could allow one to manipulate the very fabric of reality on this plane. We came here to do just that, but we soon discovered others were living in the ruins, these rain disciples. We have secured portions of the ruins, but the entity who commands the rain disciples set them to block other areas. We know not why. You're bold to ask. As you observed, I am a Dramora, but the Lord of Knowledge freed me. Hermaeus Mora taught me the secret of how to sever my ties to Oblivion and bind myself to the Mundus instead. I have served him ever since. Of course, we are known as primeval seekers. We rarely gather, but our Lord has summoned us here to secure the ruins. I'll warn you now. Some sections of the ruins below are restricted. Primeval seekers will attack if you attempt to trespass. Children, with each essence we draw closer to the dream. We must work quickly before the Daedric Prince's servants can stop us. We have nearly enough essences now. Tell Apostle Marion it is time to prepare.
Please, stranger. We mean you no harm, yet you enter our domain with distrust, killing our disciples. My mistress says you have been misled, that you should help rather than hinder us in our endeavors. Lorelia. She is a Nereid. She is the water spirit of Lake Halcyon. Lorelia says the primeval seekers have misled you. She is an element of nature, seeking only to foster life. She told me to explain her purposes here. The landscape of Tamriel is ever-changing. The desert south of here is expanding and will someday overtake this area too. Lake Halcyon has already begun to slowly dry up. Lorelia only seeks to prevent that, to keep the lake and the forest alive. These ruins hold ancient secrets and relics of power. With them, Lorelia can create a water stone, an everlasting source of water that can keep Lake Halcyon alive for all eternity. Myself, the Rain Disciples, and the Wisps aid her in this mission. The cultists worship the greedy Lord Hermaeus Mora. They would hoard the secrets buried here. They do not wish us to make use of them. They will do anything. They have even been capturing our disciples and holding them prisoner. Just to hinder our efforts. That's why they sent you as well. I'm sorry you've been caught up in this. I won't ask you to join us. But surely you can see that our disciples have done no wrong. Would you be willing to free them as a favor? Oh, Lorelia promises she will reward you generously for your assistance. The primeval seekers are holding our disciples across this water and down in the east side of the ruins. Please, free them as soon as you can. They are people from Evermore, North Glen, or other nearby villages. Like myself, they were drawn to Lorelia. She showed us what was happening and taught us that her plight, the plight of the lake, is our plight too. Get me out of here! These Daedric cultists have been torturing me! I don't know. I don't understand. They kept saying they wanted me to remember. Remember what, though? All I can recall is being with Lorelia. I need to get back to her even now. Thank you. I'll remember you. I promise. Lorelia sent you, didn't she? She always takes such good care of me. Believe it or not, I think I actually remember the way back. That's all I remember, though. Except the fact that Lorelia needs me. Thank you! me. I have to get back to Lorelia. I have to! Because she needs me, and I need her. She's all I've ever known. Please, just let me go. Praise you, friend. Praise you.
going on here? Who are all you people? Who am I? No, I don't remember you either. What am I doing here? Is this place safe? All right. Release me and I'll go. Somewhere. Ignorant half-wit! By the golden eye, what in oblivion are you doing? Setting those poor, ensorcelled fools free? Don't you realize we were trying to help them? Don't you see what's going on here? I followed you before, and overheard your conversation with that mad apostle. It's clear that this Nereid learned one of the most dangerous secrets about the Natural Order, and now twists it to her advantage. No point hiding it now. When a mortal dies, where do you think their memories go? Don't bother guessing. I'll tell you. They go into the water. They become water. All the memories of Tamriel's history are stored in its waters. The details and implications of this secret are mind-spinning, and would require a lifetime of study and contemplation. The relevant fact here is that the Nereid is stealing her disciples' memories to create this water stone. Exactly. And it seems they never will. Their memories are lost to them forever. The Lord of Knowledge abhors this transgression. The Nereid must not be allowed to continue in this endeavor, nor can she be permitted to create a water stone. The secrets to creating a water stone are forbidden. The natural progression is for the landscape in this area to evolve into a desert. The Nereid's not fighting for nature. She's fighting for self-preservation and at her disciples' expense. There is no other way for this to end. The Nereid has stolen forbidden secrets and committed crimes against nature and humanity. Now that you understand, will you repent for changing loyalties? Will you aid me in destroying this aberration? What then? You would side with this water monster and her brainwashed apostle? Go on then. She's right across the water there. I warn you though. Side with them and Hermaeus Mora will offer you no mercy. There you are. Lorelia was starting to worry. She said those cultists were trying to mislead you again. She worried that you would turn against us. I knew it was all right, though. Why would you possibly oppose Lorelia? <laughs> of course! It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. She showed me what would happen if the lake were to dry up. She showed me how much life would be lost. How could I refuse to give up some silly memories when so much is at stake? Some did, some didn't. You must understand, though, when people come wandering around Lorelia's lair, what is she to do? She's a Nereid. When a fly gets stuck in a spider's web, the spider doesn't release it. Lorelia is much the same. It's nature. I do. I support the survival of Lake Halcyon. So much life depends on it. Sacrifices must be made. And to prevent this from coming a dry, dead desert, it's worth it. You must decide as well. If you wish to aid us, Lorelia would speak with you. I'm very glad to hear that, and I know Lorelia will be too. Come and speak with her. I 
am Lorelia, water spirit of Halcyon Lake and caretaker of these lands. I have been watching you from afar, and I like what I see. You are brave. You are not afraid to stand up for what's right, and you have chosen to help me. We are very close now. The servants of Hermaeus Mora and their insatiable hunger for hoarding knowledge are all that stand in our way. You have already diverted the tides in our favor, and you shall be rewarded. We must move quickly now to save the lake, though. I have enough essences stored away to create the water stone, but I lack some crucial elements to complete the ritual. Relics from within the ruins. Ancient devices the aliens crafted to hold the secrets of water. Unwittingly, in their efforts to secure their secrets, the primeval seekers have unearthed the very things I could not find. We must simply take them. Indeed, you will find the Daedric cultists are uncovering the vessels on the east side of the ruins even now. Get them for me. Get as many as you can. And we will have what we need to create the Water Stone. Be careful. The Primeval Seekers will protect their relics with their lives. Do what you must, though. Regrettably, sometimes in nature, it is simply kill or be killed. I have a place within these passages where I will go and keep it safe. It is needed now, but it will be needed even more in the years to come. If it were stolen or destroyed, all of our work would have been in vain. Once I have the Water Stone, I will no longer require their generous service. I will release them to return to their homes in the surrounding areas, where they can be assured that the land will remain rich and alive. In time, it is my hope that they will again be able to remember. If not, they will still be able to form new memories and build new lives. As it is here, it is more important that they be happy than be able to recall every moment of their past. I hope not. After we've created the Waterstone, I will withdraw along with it. I should hope that the primeval seekers will move on after they realize there is nothing left for them here. This is good. Very good. Now there's really nothing the primeval seekers can do to stop us. Yes, we have everything we need, but you must be the one to create it. I cannot touch the Waterstone without risk of losing myself. Our natures are too similar. You will do this for me though, won't you? The memory essences have been deposited into the crystal well. Destroy the relics on the crystal to draw out the essences and create the water stone. Bring the stone to Apostle Marion. I am going now to prepare a secure place for it.
One of those primeval seekers. She, she came out of nowhere. Please. Lorelia is in danger. You've got to go help her. Lorelia, she told me to wait for you to bring the Waterstone, but one of the primeval seekers, a Dramora, snuck up and attacked me. She made me tell her where Lorelia's sanctum is. And she said she was going. She was going to kill her. In the Western Cavern. Take the back passage up. That leads to Lorelia's private sanctum. Please, hurry. If that fiend kills her, I. I'll never forgive myself. What are you doing here? Only Apostle Marion is permitted in my sanctum. Where is she? Didn't you give her the Waterstone? I wanted to wait until No! Don't no, let her get the Waterstone! Whatever she did to me, it really hurt. I thought she would kill us both. I don't know how you did that, but thank you. Do you have the Waterstone? Clearly the only way for either of us to be safe is to merge. Give me the stone, and then stand back. I don't know what will happen. worked. I feared that touching the Waterstone would destroy one or even both of us, but it didn't. We merged. We are one, and we are both stronger for it. Indeed, and even better, it will flourish for all time. We have you to thank for this, as much as I would like to keep you here, to bind you to me. I won't even try. Take this and go. I'll summon a whirlpool to whisk you away. Goodbye. <laughs>